If you are here from intro then welcome back, otherwise welcome to most shortest chat app tutorial with Flutter in Firebase. Create a project on Firebase, and let's register our app here. Copy this name, and paste it here. Give it a name. Now press register button, download it, and put it into this location. Click on next. Copy this line. Move to project level build gradle, and paste it. Copy this line. Paste it here. Lastly copy this line, and paste it here. Now copy it and paste it into second place of plugins. Now you are almost ready to go. Just press next and continue. Make sure to make minimum SDK version 21. I did build this UI for the chat app and made source code directly available to you to save our time. In the comment section, I did pin the GitHub repository. Make sure to download it to start following me. Make sure to import this packages and move to the main.dart. Replace my home page with stream builder. Pass the auth state changes as stream and check snapshot have data or not. If have return home page, otherwise sign in screen, which comes from the Flutter Fire UI package, refresh the project, and you will see the authentication is completed automatically. Use the provider's property of sign in screen. To set the auth provider, now refresh again. Authentication is completed successfully. Let's create an account from the register page and login. Wow, we logged in. To make the logout working, move to home page and press command or control, plus click on drawer. And write this code. Now logout is also done. To make the profile button working, just navigate to profile screen, which also comes from Flutter Fire package. And pass the context from drawer prompts. Move to home page and pass the context from drawer. Now you can visit to profile page and also set up your name. Let's create a logics folder where we will write all our functions. Now create functions class. Again move to home page and import the functions file and create the method inside the functions like this way. Add Firestore plugin. Import Firestore and auth package and create their instance like this way. Also create data set like this. And finally send them the server. Move to Firebase Firestore rule and edit it like this way. Publish it. Move to animated dialog file. Write this three lines of code. Use its unchanged property to update search. Wrap list view builder with stream builder. And pass this line as stream. Write this line to filter the users according to the search. Check here if the snapshot have data. Pass the length of data as item count. Pass this as title. Add this plugin and relaunch the program. And pass this as time. Now search system is ready to go. Lastly pass this as ID. Move to chat page and create a Firestore instance. Wrap it with Stream Builder. Pass this as Stream. Write this line to filter the result. Pass this as Item Count. Check if the snapshot have data. If snapshot have no data then it will return Circular Progress Indicator. 
and if it have data then it will again checks for documents is empty or not. If it is not empty then it will return list view builder. Otherwise it will return text widget. Rename data to all data. Replace first where with where. Lastly wrap query document snapshot with list. And put dot to list at last. Create new variable with name, data. And put this as value. Also check if all data is not empty. Now check if data is null. If it is null then it will return container, otherwise list view builder. Convert stateless to stateful widget. Create a variable with name room ID. Check if data is not empty, then set the value of room ID as the ID of doc. Create if else conditional to check room ID. Write this code to else section of condition. Now create data set. Now add the map inside the dot add method of collection. And add this data. Use, then, method to upload the data set. Make sure to remove this set state method. Wrap list view builder with stream builder. Pass this as stream. Make its name as snap, because we already have snapshot. And check if it have data. Pass this as item count. And now restart the project. Now you should not see any error. Copy paste the data set. And write this line of code. Now just write this to order the messages. Now replace this dummy long text with real message. Now move to message widget by pressing the command or control plus click on the message. Rename I with check and remove check variable. Move the chat page back. Replace I with this. Now you can see the messages are in correct side. Let's also show the correct time here. Now move to home page. Wrap it with stream builder. Create an instance of Firestore. Write this code here as stream. Write this code to get the rooms. Pass length of the data as item count. Write this to get all the rooms. This will filter where you are involved. And this will check if you are involved in any of the rooms. Wrap this with future builder. And also pass it as stream. Check if snapshot have data. Pass user as ID. Go to chat page. Replace it with this. Move back to home page. Add this codes and remove dummy one. Move to chat page. Add this codes. Also add key and value for time. Clear the controller to experience that message is sent. Move back to home page. Get the last message in time. Wrap this list view builder with stream builder. Add this line as a stream. 
write this line to get recent chats. Pass length of the data as item count. Also add this two lines. Wrap it with future builder. Pass this as future. Move to this circle profile. Pass name as parameter. Replace it with name. Pass on tap. Also pass name. Rename this snapshot to snap as we already have snapshot defined. Now pass name. Move to circle profile. Remove the const. Come back to home page and check if the snapshot have data. Reload the project. Move to chat page. Wrap this with stream builder. Write this for stream. Check if snapshot have data. Replace the dummy date with. Check condition if the text field is not empty. Then wrap all the functions into it. Replace the condition. Move to chat page. Create parameter for name. Use it in app bar title. Move to animated dialog page and pass name. And also same for home page. Make sure to add it on both of the places of home page. Now everything is working properly. Install it on two different devices for better experience. And also delete all the rooms from Firestore to make it new. If you are also looking for more features such as notifications and more, feel free to comment me below.